Guys, I've got some sad news. And that's because it's time to pack away my Wild West layout to make room for a Winter Village layout. So as you can see, I've already kind of cleared the table and gathered everything up and it's ready to go into storage until next year where I can continue it. I didn't expect it to, you know, be put away so soon, but time goes so fast and I haven't been able to work on it as much as I would have liked. You know, I even look at that, I've got parts here for mock, well, for buildings and mocks and things that I just haven't had time to make. And I even started, it's kind of buried down there, but I started making a new building, my first custom one, and we didn't get to do that this year. But that's okay because the Wild West layout will return in 2024. Yeah, for now it's time to pack it away and make room for my winter village. So I began kind of deconstructing this a few days ago and it's just been covered up by this sheet so it doesn't get too dusty. I'll give it another little quick dust off and then into the storage boxes they go until, yeah, next year. Okay, so I'm not going to pack away my Hogwarts Express here because it's not Wild West related and that's what these parts are for to kind of customise the carriages here. So I might keep that out and make a few videos on that, so stay tuned for that. But otherwise, yeah, look at that, my custom revamped version of the Toy Story train which I made. Oh, that was pretty fun. So that's all the trains neatly packed away in there. And just so I don't lose these smaller parts and they don't get chucked around randomly in the bigger box, I'm going to put them inside the smaller containers which I also use to store my minifigures. You can get these from Asda, just like the bigger box I'm using. It's not a sponsor. Oops, I dropped it. It's not a sponsor, but I just buy from there a lot and I recommend it. And here's one of the buildings that I started making. Oh, <laughs> started mating and it was on a temporary basis but yeah i was gonna go this was gonna be a post office and i was gonna make like a little tailor shop i thought yeah that might work well in my little wild west layout obviously i bought the parts to pretty much build and expand my train station but that didn't happen oh the table's getting more and more empty that's because the first box is now full so a funny thing just happened i had just finished packing this box i was about to put the lid on but then I knocked it slightly as I was picking up this set, and it was only balancing on a cardboard box, so that was stupid of me to put it there, and everything fell out, and I dropped it, and things broke. Yay! So I get to rebuild them before I put them back in the box. So the fun part is it looks like just about every model here suffered some damage, especially the train station, that's completely destroyed. Looks like this sheriff's office from the Lone Ranger is intact, actually. It might be the only one. Okay, so I've fixed all the sets now, but I'm just left with these two... One by one brown bricks, and I have absolutely no idea which set they're from or where they came from. This set was one that kind of broke the worst, but I've looked and I can't see any gaps. So I had to do some partial deconstruction for the Indiana Jones tomb set, but that's fine because, you know, I always plan to take that one apart and reuse the parts and things. So I guess that just gives me a head start for next year. And I've got one set left, and it's this large one, which is... Well, hopefully it will fit in this box without taking too much off of it. It's the Silver Mine Shootout from the Lone Ranger 10 years ago. Forget about it being too tall, it's too wide. It's just slightly like it's squeezing in there, but the box is, you know, it's not a complete. It gets smaller at the bottom because you can stack it so it won't fit down there. And not even the other way, no. Okay, what can I take off? I guess it'll have to be at the track. Good thing it was really easy to take off that track piece. And then it's almost the perfect height, just slightly too tall. So I just need to take this one off and it's good to go. Although it does kind of you know, waste a whole box just for this. But I guess, you know, when I build more stuff for the Wild West layout next year, I'll need the box space, so it's good to have it. And the last thing I've got to pack away are all the base plates. Now, I'm not going to take off the train track. I'm just going to leave it on there. But there is a slight annoyance because I've got one more of these boxes and these base plates, they don't actually fit in here. Well, I mean, you can kind of fit them at an angle, but it's not great. Ah, <sighs> so, yeah. So I think I might have to store them somewhere else, which isn't the end of the world, but, you know, not ideal. Well, there we go. All packed up in three boxes, ready to be stored away until a future date. But that's okay, because we're building a winter village. Although we're not building this set because I'm actually going to sell this one, because I don't think it's that good. Thank you very much for watching, if you enjoyed this video don't forget to check out the other videos on this channel or on one of my other channels as well and of course don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share with your friends.